What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Out the Greek here. You know, sometimes when you just want to do something nice for someone, that's what we're doing today. Today, we are building a computer for my sister. Now, uh, if you follow my live streams at all anytime in the recent future, um, you know that I've been talking about it quite some time because she has been pestering me for a PC for ooh, upwards over six months now. So I decided, considering the fact that her birthday is coming up, I am going to build her a PC. So it's not going to be anything crazy. It's just going to be just a really standard PC. She'll still be able to game on it if she really wants to. Um, haven't decided if she's going to yet, but um, <clears throat> it'll basically do everything that she wants it to do and a little more if she really needs it to. So we're going to go over the parts real quick and then uh, get to building this bad boy. Okay, so first and foremost, we start off with the CPU, or in this case, an APU. We are going with a 5800K. Um, I have a 7850K, and I was thinking about buying a motherboard and going with that. But honestly, it would be kind of a waste because she's not going to game in it at all. Um, if anything, she might play maybe, you know, some little indie games or whatever. If she decides to get a Steam library, then might then she might play. But an APU will be more than enough for her um, because anything else would honestly be overkill. So we go from the CPU to the motherboard. The motherboard is an ASRock FM2A75 Pro 4M. That's a lot for a motherboard. This is an MATX motherboard has everything she needs nothing that she doesn't need and uh, it's just it's perfect for what she's going to use it for so along with the motherboard we have the ram i have kingston hyperx black ram this is ram that was in my previous system now we get to the storage solutions of the pc for solid state drive we have a kingston uh, SSD now 300. It's a, there you go. S, yeah, it's a 240 gig SSD, and uh, it's not the fastest SSD, but it is plenty fast for for her. You know, so it's it'll be instant boot time. It's really nice. And for mass storage, we have a Western Digital Caviar Blue. I'm just trying to make it so there's no glare, so you guys can see it. There you go. Western Digital Caviar Blue for mass storage for all her music, her movies, um, and her pictures of whatever she does. I don't know. Uh, for the power supply, I am recycling my old Corsair CX430. It's plenty powerful for what, for, for what this system is going to be used for. You know, she doesn't really need anything crazy. No 500 watt. So this is just fine. And um, we get into peripherals. For peripherals, I got her a, an MX510 from Logitech. It's a wireless mouse because she doesn't really have a desk. So this is going to be on her dresser. And uh, all her stuff, her keyboard and everything, that's going to be around somewhere else. So she won, and she won a wireless too. So it's a really cool mouse because uh, the battery life is two years on one battery. And that is pretty awesome. I'm, actually pretty looking forward to seeing how this this works so and we move on to I just got her a uh, simple wireless adapter to hook into the Wi-Fi uh, because getting her like an actual modem and all that stuff would be a little too too expensive for right now so that and the one thing that I'm most jealous about is this right here we have a Logitech at a K750 wireless solar powered keyboard. Now the reason I'm on, I'm jealous about this keyboard is because this keyboard it's solar powered fine. But not only will it be powered by the sun, it can be powered by the light shining off of your TV, the light in your room, um, basically any light source that is around will charge this thing. And that is awesome absolutely awesome and I am incredibly jealous because I would love for one of these 
maybe when I uh, actually build my TPC, um, this is what it'll be. Maybe I can use this for for that. But uh, but yeah. So that's it with the parts and all that stuff. It's nothing crazy. She doesn't really need anything insanely powerful. Um, like I said, I really don't think she's gonna be doing any gaming on it. She just wants it because because her laptop is extremely slow, and this will be a very big upgrade for her. Oh, and I forgot to mention, well, one more thing. Uh, the case that it's going in, I completely forgot. The case that it's going in is, is going to be the Fractal 804. It's kind of a big case for what she wants, but if she ever wants, uh, you know, if she needs a graphics card later on, she can put a graphics card in it. More storage, she can do that. There's upgradability. Um, and I have some fun that I'm going to do with this case later on. Not now. I'm, I'm planning on painting this case for her. So not now, but later on in the future, I'll be painting that for her. And uh, before we get into the building, I need, to say, I need to say a special thank you to a couple people. Um, the case was provided by Fractal Design, so Josh, thank you, you creeper, you. Um, so thank you for that. The CPU and motherboard were provided by Cell Processing. And, uh, and the SSD and the hard drive were uh, provided by uh, East Coast Mods and the Frumpy Turtle. So I'm gonna put all those links to all those wonderful people down below in the description. And uh, if you would like, go give them a thank you from me because without them, honestly, um, I wouldn't be able to build this build for her. Uh, they're very generous people. They heard what I wanted to do and they just, uh, you know, uh, Frumpy Turtle and East Coast Mods came through in the clutch, which is awesome. So thank you guys for that. And uh, yeah, enough of me talking, blah, 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 blah. Well, let's get into this build. Alrighty guys, so let's get to the b-roll and little voiceover before we end this video as you can see the interior of the PC I added a five port USB card um, I know that she's gonna use it because she can add many things to the back because there's not that many USB ports on here So that's gonna be nice to help her out um, The SSD obviously you don't see it in here, but it's behind the front plate of the node 804 which is which is a really nice feature um, the cable management wasn't that difficult. It was pretty simplistic, honestly, because the uh, the CX430 didn't have that many cables, and there wasn't much to uh, to put around. Honestly, I had a little issue with the SATA power um, going to the hard drive and then connecting to the uh, fan controller, but that's neither here nor there. But um, she really, really, really enjoys the PC. She uses it all all the time. She really likes it, and I just I can't thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown all the help and um it means it means a lot to me and it means a lot to her too so just finishing up with final uh views of the pc finally in her room connected to her tv and um when i when i gave it to her i put a little happy birthday um background on there and i knew that she would like it so you can see all her books and stuff there, so she really liked it, like I said before, and I really can't thank you enough. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.